Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to run a cron job using Vercel Next.js. Okay, there is like a few tricks that I want to show you because I encountered some problems when I was trying to do it myself. So I hope that you don't get into the same issues and I don't want you to get into the same issues and that's why I'm doing this video. So I'll show you. So let's dive right into this. And I have started uh, programming with um, well, in this case, you can see this is cursor and yeah, so I already have my project and I'll just run it so that you can see, I'm going to run the project and then we'll take it from there. Let me show you. All right. So it's just like a social media scheduler and if you go Oh, okay, so it's just running, right? So what, what I want to show you is I already have like a cron job, but I want to show you uh, how to set up a cron job from scratch, okay? Okay, so, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to create like a cron job folder, okay? So this is, I just called the cron, and that's the name of the folder, and inside of that folder I have another folder which has the cron job, okay? So you don't have to do it this way. I think, uh, you know, in my case, I think it's good if you do it that way just because, uh, you know, you have like a, like you know what it refers to because it says cron, right? So yeah, so you can do it here. I'm just gonna create a folder inside of a folder, okay? And I'm gonna call it test cron or something like that, okay? Just test, I guess. And inside of this one, I'll just create like a, a route a TS and that would be our uh, our route, okay? All right. Next so, thing is we'll just import some of the things that we we do we do need. So like this one, and then also we need the request. So next request and like that. Okay, so we have those two, and now we just need like a simple uh, you know function here. So it'll just be like a get, and it's gonna be a sync. Okay. And then we have request, and this will be of the type of n next request. And since I'm using TypeScript, I need to I need to show that's like of a type next request. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna console log here like something that you'll see in Vercel once we deploy. So say hello from hello world. Omicron. Okay, so now we have the console log and then we just do the return and then this is going to be of next re response and the JSON. I have a, let's do this here, message. Um, from JSON message and then say hello world, something like that. Okay, and then the status will say like, give us like a 200 if this is working. Um, okay, so I think I have an extra, yep, just like that. And I forgot one here. All right, and I think pre that's pretty much it. So just add this here. And then that's it. So now we have our current job, right? So basically, uh, here we're just, uh, well, uh, this is a mistake here. Okay, yeah. So that was an import that we didn't need. So basically we have like, um, you know, next response, next request. And, and now we're just uh, setting our cron job, which uh, we're just gonna console log, uh, hello world, cron job is working. And the return is gonna be like a hello world message with a status of 200, okay? And this is like a get request. Okay, so we have our route. It's in cron test route, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna trigger the cron job. So how do we do that? Okay, so now that we have our route, the next thing is to set our cron job to work on Vercel once we deploy it, okay? So you wanna create like a Vercel.json at the same level as the package.json. That's where you wanna create it. And you can see here I have Vercel.json. So if I open that one, then we have this. 
which yeah let me make it bigger yeah so i already have all of this and sorry i keep typing that but yeah so vercel.json so this is the file okay and here i already have like a cron job which is why i have all of this but i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to show you how to set it from scratch right so you create the vercel.json and then we'll just follow the in all of this documentation i can show you that some vercel so vercel cron jobs managing cron jobs and i'll show you something here yeah so here you uh you cannot see yet but yeah here we have like the cron jobs and this is like how to do it for the app for the pages other uh, frameworks and then it tells you that you need to create um our cell that json and it's here it says that you need to create it and then it has to have this um has to have this uh uh, you know this syntax and this is how it has to look okay all right so i'm just gonna maybe copy this and then replace it and this is once again in vercel docs cron jobs okay so let's just replace it and i, I just have one cron job so i'm just gonna remove this one i'm gonna remove that one and basically here we have the cron jobs we're setting up the cron jobs and in path we want the path to the cron job. So we have it at API cron test. So we'll change that and we'll do API cron test. Okay. okay. And then once we have the path, then we have to set up a schedule. So when do we want the cron job to run? Like every uh, what amount of time, right? So in this case, this is like every five hours, okay? Just go to chat GPT. Just be like cron job every two minutes and then you can just copy this expression and then just go back and paste it okay and here you can see that the first one refers to um let me see if i can open this one yeah so first one refers to the minute from zero to 59 second one the hour from zero to 23 and then you have day of the month month of uh, the month from 1 to 12 and day of the week okay and then here it's an explanation okay but this is the schedule okay so let's just go to or you can use this tool that i found so here you can say like i want a cron job every three minutes right and click enter and then it give you it will give you this and then you can just go back paste it here and then this is going to run every three minutes okay and let's test this okay all right and let me put every two minutes because I want to show you something. And is it giving me a problem here? Let's see. No, I think it's good. Uh, it is good. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Okay. All right. So next thing that we want to do, uh, we can just deploy this. So I'm just going to deploy this on Vercel and then you'll see that all the changes have been done. Okay. So let me go here. I'll just do the git add, git commit. Okay, I'll yeah. just commit this. I'll just say cron test and get git push. And then we'll see if it runs or not, okay? So then how can we uh, see if the cron job has been scheduled on Vercel? So if we did all of this correctly, if we have our route and if we set up our Vercel.json correctly, then we can just go to Vercel. So let's go to Vercel go to your project and then go to settings and here you can go to cron jobs okay but let me see if it has finished so it's still uh, building so let's just give it a second and then i'll show you okay all right so meanwhile uh, let's see let me refresh okay it's done so it's been uh, pushed to production 45 seconds ago and now let's go to settings Let's go to cron jobs and you can also see them in logs but i'll just go to cron jobs and as you can see i already have here a cron job and i removed the one that i had so here it's the cron job right and you can see and you can run it if you wanted to uh, manually from here or you can just go and view logs and this is supposed to run every two minutes okay every two minutes so let me refresh you can see that it hasn't run so far okay 
So let's just wait for two minutes and I'll be back. It's 11, 20, uh, 20 yeah. So 11, 22 or 23, I'll come back just to make sure that the current job is running, okay? And I'll, I'll let you know something. It's not gonna run, but let's just, uh, let's just show you, okay? Okay, so if you see that your cron job is not running, it's because of the following. And I'll show you, and I did this purposely, because I wanted to show you uh, how to fix it, okay? So if you just deploy this, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna cut it. So I'll show you why. So here you can see that's working, but it's because I added something behind the scenes. But since then, it hasn't, um, it hasn't worked again, see? So this is not working because you don't have the message. And this was at 11.32, it's, 11, it's already 11.33. Uh, we should wait until 11.34, but it's not gonna work, okay? And see, it's 11.34, and it's not working, okay? So basically what you have to do is you wanna go here, and what you need to add is the following. So you need to come here and add export const uh, revalidate equal to zero, like that, okay? So you wanna add this line, and what does this line do? So basically, this line tells uh, Vercel, so if you don't have that line, uh, Vercel is just gonna cache your route, okay? So it's just gonna cache your route, and then the cron job won't run each time. But if you tell Vercel, you know, this expo uh, export cons revalidate equal to zero, this invokes the function uh, fresh. So then the cron job is gonna run each time. So this is just like a caching thing with Vercel. So if you don't have that line, uh, Vercel is gonna cache that route and your cron job won't run ever. But if you have this revalidate equal to zero, then it's gonna tell Vercel always start fresh, always call this route fresh, okay? And then that's what's gonna fix it. So if we go, I haven't committed this change and just to keep showing you here. So if we uh, refresh, you see that the cron job hasn't run. Last time that it ran was 11.32 and that's when I had it because I added it just to test it. But see, since then it hasn't run and it's been already like two minutes, three minutes, right? So it's not gonna work. So let me come here and let me just deploy this and then you'll see that it, it will start working again. So force dynamics, uh, get pushed. And then we'll go and check here once again. So let me, so it's still building. So let's just wait and then we'll see that it keeps running every two minutes, okay? And I might come back at 11.40 something just so that I can show you that it's running and working properly, okay? All right, so since we're still waiting, uh, the next thing that I wanted to show you is the usage and pricing for the cron jobs. So maybe if you have like a hobby plan and you see that your cron job is not running even after you know doing all of the things correctly, then you'll see that it's because of the pricing and the usage. So if you have like a hobby plan, then you'll get like two cron jobs per month or per account, as it says, and it trigger once a day. Okay. I have the pro, so that's why I, I have like 40 cron jobs and it's unlimited cron invocations. So I can call them, you know, at a specific times and stuff like that. And enterprise has like a hundred cron jobs, okay? So if your thing is not working, if your cron job is not working, then maybe you have to update your plan. But first try all of the things that I've showed you and then see if it doesn't work, okay? Okay, it's, it's already 11.40. So by this time, the cron job, had to run twice already, okay? So let's go here, let's refresh. Okay, we're just waiting for another one because it's 11, okay. Let's just wait a few seconds and then you'll see that the cron job is gonna run once again, but it's working. You can see that 11.38, it just run. So if we give it two minutes, you'll see that it will run again. Let's just wait. Okay, 11.40, almost there, almost there. Not yet, hasn't hit the 11.40 and 38 seconds yet. Okay, see, it ran once again. Okay, so, and you can see the timing, 11.38, 38, 11.40, 38. Okay, so it's super exact, that's why. And then here it's gonna run once again at 11, 42, and 38 seconds. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about cron jobs, just visit the versal.com docs, and here you can learn more about the cron jobs. And just to recap, just create like a route, just create like your cron folder, and yeah, you can put it inside of a, this is just like a test one, and don't forget this line, because this is the line that's gonna tell Vercel to actually fetch the route fresh, okay? And Vercel.json, this sets up the cron job on Vercel once you deployed, so this is super important, okay? And that's it for this tutorial. I I hope that you've learned something. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, just you know, leave a comment, ask your questions, uh, subscribe to the channel, share it with other people, and that would be uh, that would be all. But um, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Bye.